The 3M squeeze roll applicator is now available with an option that provides low cost, high production application for 3M pressure sensitive sheetings. The option includes a motorized unwind rewind kit for a 48 inch applicator that already has an air cylinder installed. Guards and interlocks on both the feed and exit side are installed to meet safety requirements. Here is how the squeeze roll applicator works. Open both guards to expose the roll mandrels. Loosen the brake clamp securing the stock mandrel and remove the mandrel. Slide the roll of sheeting on the stock mandrel and place the mandrel back on the applicator. Secure the brake clamps. Center the roll of sheeting on the mandrel and tighten the locking collars with an Allen wrench. Carefully feed enough sheeting under the stripper roll to reach the liner take-up mandrel. Do not secure it with tape at this time. Tighten the four brake screws on the stock mandrel so that the sheeting roll is held in place. Lower the top nip roll using the control lever. Place the sheeting into the gap between the lower nip roll and the feed table. Center a sign blank with the sheeting and square it up with a nip. Slide the edge guides to the blank and secure them leaving about 1 16th of an inch gap for size variation. Pull the sheeting from the gap and while keeping it taut, tape the liner to a core on the liner take-up mandrel. Using the control valve, raise the top nip roll. Feed a starter panel into the applicator under the top nip roll. Peel the sheeting back from the liner and feed it between the nip rolls. Take care not to let the sheeting adhesive come in contact with the bottom nip roll. Lower the top nip roll so that the sheeting is pressed onto the starter panel. Loosen the brake screws on the stock roll mandrel so that the mandrel turns but still has some resistance. Lower the plastic guards and engage the two interlock keys. Place a panel blank in feed position behind the starter panel. Turn on the main power switch and see that the motor direction is set in the forward position. Step on the right hand foot switch. This supplies air pressure to the nip rolls. Make sure pressure is adjusted to 80 PSI. Start the applicator by stepping on the left hand foot pedal. Adjust the motor speed if necessary to a comfortable application speed and the liner take-up roll speed to where it is winding up smoothly. If everything seems in order, continue to feed the blanks. Once the job is finished, and if the entire roll is not going to be used, finish with a starter panel. Raise the feed side guard and cut the sheeting above the nip roll. Do not cut against the nip rolls. Lower the guard and finish the application.